What's going on YouTube? Captain here. Tonight's video is going to be about me reaching 100 subs. I'm actually at 105 now, so I didn't get a chance to do my 100 subs uh, for thanking everybody and thanking all my viewers and my subscribers. Yeah, it's only 100. I'm not like a lot of the big names out there, and I'm not at millions of subscribers and millions of people viewing my, my um, videos per day. But you know what? Being a simple guy or being a, a, a just beginning on YouTube, I mean, I just started this channel about a year ago, maybe to actually really make it something. Um, it means a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm at 105. I've got a lot of people looking at my videos and commenting. Um, the biggest thanks though, that I want to do is to Electric Water. Electric Water has been the, he, he's the owner of the Mac group that I'm in on Google+. Plus. Got to throw Mac love up there, fish fam love, everybody. But Electric Water, when I posted my first video, was about my 75 African cichlid tank, which is no longer anymore. Um, not because I don't have the fish, but because I made a mistake. Bought too small of a tank. Didn't realize that this was going to be an addiction that I can't control. Well, I can now. I know how to say no. It's my wife. <laughs> She's the one that tells me no more fish, you're done. And then I buy a 20 gallon and I put betas in it. And now she says, can we have more fish? Um, but other than that, I mean, I just put up a video of my, uh, my betta tank earlier. That's actually not my betta tank. It is my wife's betta tank. I, I made that for her. Um, we had fish in it. We decided that we wanted to go something else and she really likes bettas. So it's a community tank with a bunch of females and some quarries. I want to say the quarries are for Peru, from Peru. Great fish. Anyway, back to the subscribers. You know, Electric Water, um, George from South Florida, Unconventional Aquatics, Matt Moore, Kevin Pitts, uh, a lot of you guys that actually have made a lot of videos and we do the, the uh, Wednesday night live fish fam hangout unfortunately you know it's not done tonight it is wednesday um george couldn't do it and i'm making this video and i'm going to try to edit this so i don't think i'm going to be able to do it i will do one this weekend though and i will have some more content for you on friday doing something special hopefully i can make it work if i can't make it work well i'm going to try so, you know, the 105 subscribers, you know, getting out there and, you know, going into some other live chats from, you know, that were posted on the Mac group. Uh, I was just on um, multi-tank addictions last night. And uh, when I went on the live chat, I jumped in, said hello, and, you know, instantly had a few people that actually were like, hey, what's this guy about? Multi-tanks, I want to thank you for bringing up the fact of my flower horns. I uh, got a few people interested. Also, me mentioning about my bed has got a few people interested in, in actual some of my videos. So, I'm not really trying to shout out, but I'm trying to say thank you. Uh, I'm extending the big love, the big heart to everybody, you know. And I want to thank you all for for helping me and for getting me where I am and helping me through this, you know, with these multi tanks. I couldn't do it without you guys. Um, I'm just. You know, it's 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 awesome to see the love that you can get. And really, honestly, when I put my first video out on YouTube with the 75 with my Africans, I didn't expect it to go anywhere. I expected, you know, just a little bit and, hey, nice tank, you know, it's great. Um, Electric Water said, hey, you know what? You got a really nice tank. Why don't you join my group? Jumped in on the group. And since then, it's been nothing but love and nothing but help. Uh, you know, you ask questions on there. Hey, there's something wrong with my tank. You get a lot of people that don't tell you that you're wrong and you need to do something. They give you advice. And I love taking that advice. You know, I, I'm not, not going to by any means say that I'm a professional because I myself make screw ups. I screw up all the time with my tanks, you know, and it's kind of, it, it's hard to do when you have you know, seven, I want to say seven tanks up and running right now, you can kind of be like, well, you know what? I'm going to wait a couple days on the water change. You can't, you cannot wait at all. You wait for your water, you wait for that, you're going to end up having problems. 
you know, and, and watching a lot of people and seeing the struggles that I went through and also having my own struggles still and asking questions and going on to, to different sites and even posting something on YouTube really helps out. It's, it's, it's a great thing. You know, I haven't done any reviews and I haven't been on YouTube posting about like what you need to do because really, honestly, I, I'm still learning and I've been in this hobby for a while really getting into this hobby though now with all my tanks and everything that I'm doing. Um, but yeah, when they're, when, when you need help, when you ask a question, you know, it, it's great. And I'm going to get a little bit here because there was somebody that we tried to help off of Mac group the other day. And the guy took constructive criticism as badgering or picking on him, telling him he doesn't know what he's doing. We read the comments, I read the comments, I watched the videos, and yeah, you ask for help, but then when people say, hey, you, this is what you're doing wrong, you don't call them out and say, hey, you guys don't know what you're talking about, I do. You just asked for help, we're trying to help you. And, you know, with a lot of these guys on, on the, the, the Mac group and um, even on YouTube, if you post a question, hey, what, what is this supposed to be? Is this supposed to be right? Or Facebook, anything like that. There's a lot of people that will help you. And there's a lot of people that will call you an idiot. Right now, I am an idiot. I have two Oscars in a 75-gallon tank um, that I know they're not supposed to be in there. I am an idiot, and you can call me that, and I will admit it. But I do know that they are getting a bigger tank whether I'm going to go with a 150 or I'm going to go with something a little bit smaller than a 150. I know I'm not supposed to, but I'm doing with what I can work with. Um, if somebody's got a, a 300 gallon tank or 190 or 240, something like that, you want to donate to a guy that needs one, you can hit me up. Uh, I'll try to leave the link to my Instagram and Mac group and everything else. It's not hard to find me. There's nobody else out there with the name Captain3654. Um, we greatly appreciate it. I'm going to make a cardboard sign that says I need a 200 gallon or 240 gallon tank. We'll set it up for you. <laughs> um, but anyway, on that note, you know, it's it's kind of a serious note. and I... I it bothers me that when somebody does ask for help and then you give them help it and they say you're wrong i'm right I've had tanks for years this is just going on my camera's crappy or oh well you guys don't see my filtration you show filtration or you show that first off you can't see most of my filtration i mean you can see my um my canister filters my intake sitting behind me because there's two of them right there um there's more than that i actually have four filters in this tank this is a 125 and i over filter the crap out of it and you can actually see the water going around me for that reason i made that mistake i was under filtrationing my nitrate spiked and uh i didn't test my water because i'm an idiot and i lost some fish i've also made some mistakes where you know my fish uh I somehow my surge protector got shut off, shut my tank down, don't know for how long, didn't have water movement, didn't have air, had nothing. Went and, like an idiot, turned my surge protector on without taking down this, the filters, without checking the water, without trying to throw stuff in there because I was in a hurry, didn't think, dummy me. And I crashed my tank. I crashed my tank to the point where I lost six to eight fish. And we're not talking little guys. We were talking, this was my full, almost full grown fish. Um, my Synodonis decorus, which was halfway grown. Called him Dyson because he was like a vacuum cleaner. Anything that was on the ground food related, he'd go swim by it and it was gone. It looked like every time he made a pass in the tank, he was eating something. And he was about six inches. He died. I had, and I still have it. It's actually, he, he sits underneath the tank because 
I miss them. This was my Taiwan reef. Okay, so let me see without getting a glare. That was, uh, I'm getting a glare. That was my favorite fish out of the tank. Nobody can replace this fish. I killed him because I was dumb. And, you know, I, I the worst part was is I actually, in the process of, you know, everything in the tank crashing and trying to fix it, I, I literally watched that fish pass away. And, you know, I'm showing a little bit of emotion because, you know, it's like we watch these guys on videos. And, I mean, I've seen a few of them where you have a fish. And, yeah, I had him for maybe a year. But you get these fish and it's, it's your family. They're, they're, you know, I don't care. This, this is, this is my, these are my dogs. My real dog is over here. That, that's, that's Bubba. He's my puppy fish. Um, but I literally watched a fish die because of stupidity. And I, I, I caused it. You know, I may not have directly caused it because when you have cats and you have a search protector and they get curious and they shut it off, things happen. Um, but anyway, you know, I, I caused it. I asked for help. I got help. And every time, I mean, if you guys on here don't help the local fish store that I go to and, you know, even though I've pretty much go in there every week, um, because he's my drug dealer, he's my legal fish dealer, but <laughs> call him my legal drug dealer because this is this is a very, very bad habit, and it gets out of control very fast. Um, I walked in there, and I said, hey, you know, I, I need some help. I crashed my tank, and he says, well, how'd you crash it? And I said, well, shut my surge protectors off. And his first question was, were, or his first question was, did you redo your filters before you turn them back on? And I said, no, I was in a hurry. And... He says, well, if you were in a hurry, why did you stop to do that? I said, well, I went to feed my fish in the morning, running a little bit behind for work, saw I had no power, turned it on, crashed the tank. The 10 minutes it would have taken me that I would have been late at work, they, you know, they probably wouldn't have understood that I had to emergency fix my tank. But that 10 minutes to tear down two filters probably would have caused less of a crash. The fact that I could have taken the carbon out and taken some of the media out, thrown in ammonia packs and thrown in other stuff in there, nitrate reducers. Um, I could have probably saved that tank and I could have saved the six to eight fish that I lost. I mean, honestly, I don't remember how many it was. I know it was a um, couple in Buna. It was uh, my... Taiwan Reef, my Synodonis decorus, um, my Synodonis uh, multi, not multiplantatus, with some other Synodonis that I can't even remember the name. I can't pronounce it. Uh, a few peacocks that I had, um, a sulfur head, which was a beautiful, beautiful sulfur head, and there was there was quite a, some more fish in there, and unfortunately, I lost them. Um, you know, it happens. We deal with death all the time. It just sucks that when you've invested so much time, and I don't even care about the money. I, I care about the time that I've invested with these guys. And, you know, to kill them, if I felt bad. I felt really bad. Um, you know, my wife was even saying, hey, you going to be all right? And I said, yeah, I'll be all right. She went and, you know, she made that picture. She went and printed out a picture and put it in a frame and set it underneath the tank and when I came home you know I saw the picture and I felt really good and, you know it still hurts me a little bit but I, I still feel great and you know seeing you guys make these comments about hey your fish are awesome looking and seeing other people's fish it's great but when you ask for help please just just take it don't don't be uh, I don't even I don't want to use the word that I want to use for this don't be thick-headed and stubborn and say, you know what? You guys are wrong. You're giving me advice, but you're wrong. You know what? Most of those people weren't wrong. 
It was the person that asked the questions that was wrong. And, you know, I'm sorry that I had to say it, but, you know, it was bugging me and I, I wanted to put it out here. Yeah, probably I'll lose some subscribers for this, but you know what? It's my heart to heart. I've never had one on here. And um, I, I don't know, like, I just, you know, I, I want to thank everybody for doing what you guys do and helping us get to where we are. And, you know, I look forward to helping somebody else out someday and, you know, getting them up and getting subscribers. I look on YouTube almost every day for new people that have tanks. You know, I do search more for African cichlids, but I mean, it's, you know, I do look for other tanks. I do search for people with flower horns. Um, you know, I want to get, just give people love that I got, you know, it feels great. If, you know, yeah, granted, like I said, I'm only at 105 subscribers. Don't really think I'm going to go further that much further than that, but you never know, um, you know, it, it's, it's cool. It, it feels great now to see stuff like this. And, you know, I'm not one of those big name guys. And, you know, like I said, if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to, but you know, I, I do like this, you know, I like being on YouTube and I, I like posting videos and yeah, this is probably a serious video along with a thank you video, but you know what? I, I needed to get rid of it. It kind of bugged me yesterday. I wanted to do one yesterday, but I didn't know how I would do it and, and how to talk about it, but there it is. I'm talking about it. So I think that's all I have for now. And I'm going to end this and say thank you. And like I said, I'm going to try to leave links in the descriptions for Mac group on, on uh, Google plus and, you know, um, I do have an Instagram do have Facebook, but I'm not going to give out my name on Facebook. I have one on Instagram. You can just follow me on Instagram. Same thing. Captain3654. It's a dumb name. It's a name that I got when I was gaming, but I I've stuck with it. And thinking the further I go, trying to figure out a name. And somebody could, if you want, maybe give me a help, uh, give me a hand on that. You know, I was thinking Captain's Aquatics, but. A lot of people are using aquatics or captain's aquariums or, you know, hi, my name's Captain and I, I suffer from multi-tank syndrome. Uh, that's not my name, but it's, that's what I do. Uh, I suffer from it, suffer badly. But anyway, you know, I know it should be me making the, the name, but I do leave it up to, I'm going to try to leave it up to some, 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 some viewers here. Um, if somebody wants to give me a hand, I mean, there's a lot of people that have just their normal names and I have my name and if my name was from the gaming community since a long time ago. Um, and even I do answer to captain when I'm out with some of my gaming buddies, because that's how we know each other. We've met on the gaming community. We stuck with the gaming community. Um, but yeah, I mean trying to think of something different because I know the 3654 is kind of stupid, but I do like it. Uh, but I'm open to suggestions. Uh, and on that note, I did say I was going to end this video and I actually mean it this time. I'm going to say good night. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, yeah, have a good one, YouTube. Please leave a like. Thank you.